Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca, today we're doing another vlog. I'm really excited to bring you along on the next couple of days. I have a few things planned, maybe some fun DIYs, maybe some holiday decor, I'm not exactly sure yet, but what I do know is that Daniel locked the keys in the car, so I have to go and bring my spare. Oops, I just dropped it. I have to go and bring my spare so that he can get into the car. Um, I'm also gonna bring him lunch and I think I'm gonna go do a few things while I'm out, so I'm gonna bring you with me. But I wanna give a big shout out to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. One of my favorite sponsors, literally love Ana Luisa so much. I'm excited to show you some new pieces that I got from them, but first, let's go get the car. <laughs> oh, one of the things that I'm gonna do today, which I'm super excited about, is take my bike in to be serviced. So my bike, I have not really used it since I stopped riding it as a mode of transportation in college. Like I took it out a few times after that, but basically the last time that I really rode my bike was probably 2019. And my bike is like so special to me. I love my bike. It is the best bike ever in my opinion. Um, but I haven't used it because the tires have been flat and I was just, I didn't need it. So I wasn't really like in a rush to get it fixed. So I'm gonna take it to a repair shop today to get some like a tune-up because it really needs a tune-up. And um, yeah, also just realized my nails are done. Look at this, I did this myself at home. They're actually just like fake nails that I glued on. Um, I could grow my nails this long and do it on my own, but I just have like an aversion to having long nails. Like this feels too long for me and it's like barely off my finger. Like people have much longer nails than this, but honestly, I don't like having long nails. So I just wanted to like feel pretty for a while. So I did this and I don't actually hate it, but I feel like it's not very functional for like living my life as far as like plants and stuff goes. I don't know, there's just so many things that I've been like, oh, this is so annoying to do with nails and I don't think I like it, you know? So that's fun. I've been trying to dabble in nail art, but a lot of the nail art that I see is for like longer nails and it's harder to adapt it for short nails because a lot of the things I like is like French tips and stuff. Wow, immediately after I finished filming that little section, I dropped my camera because it fell off my tripod and fell onto the ground and I broke my lens. That sucks a lot. So now I'm using a lens for my old camera, which isn't very good, the autofocus is really slow, but that's okay, I guess it's better than using my phone, but now I have to buy a new lens for my camera. It's crazy how literally one second passes and like the second before, you didn't need to spend $400, and the second after, you now need to spend $400. <laughs> what is life right now? <laughs> Leo is like, it's okay, mom, you're gonna be okay. But it's gonna be okay, but I'm just really annoyed. Okay, so I just dropped off my bike to the repair shop and um, he said that it looked like it only needed the tires to be aired back up and then the uh, the wrapping on the handles was pretty beat up so they're gonna rewrap the handles for me and just do a regular tune up like grace the gears and um, not, not the gears, the chain. Um, there's no gears on the bike which is the only thing that I think is like not that fun about it. It's kind of difficult to ride it in like hilly places because it's just single gear bike. Now I'm gonna go over to Michael's because I want to pick up some paint because, look at this. I thrifted this a while ago, like maybe like two weeks ago and it was sitting in the back of my car and I kind of forgot about it. So it's a jewelry case and I don't like the outside but the inside is really nice. It looks super fancy, like it's been kept in like really good condition. The front, um, like this part has this. So anyway, I just don't like the black with like the white stitching. I just don't think that's the vibe. But I do remember Lone Fox, Drew did a video where he painted fabric to look like leather which like this is already faux leather but i want to change the color of the faux leather so i'm gonna go get some like brown like see if i can find something like brown basically you mix uh paint like acrylic paint with fabric softener and for some reason that makes it 
like leathery. I don't really understand how. I'm probably going to rewatch the video. But the other thing that I thrifted is this cute little broom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like looks like cinnamon like have you ever had the cinnamon brooms from Trader Joe's it basically looks like the base of that on a bamboo pole and then the other thing that I got on that thrifting trip was this watermelon cutter and if you've never seen one of these I haven't either until very recently I've been seeing them online and it was a dollar so I was like let's try this out because I'm gonna have some watermelon in my garden coming up Okay, obviously I came here for one specific thing, but I can't help but get distracted. Also, why is this $80? Please. No, 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 no. There is some cute stuff though. Like, look at these tiny straw bales. I might have to get one of these to add some like layers. Okay, so I just got home. I unloaded everything. I'm gonna show you in just a second, but first I want to show you the new pieces that I got from Ana Luisa. They're still in the little boxes because I wanted to do like a, an opening with you. If you're not familiar with Ana Luisa, they are my favorite sustainable everyday jewelry brand. They make all of their pieces out of recycled metals. And seriously, I'm wearing a piece from Ana Luisa every single day. So let me show you what I got this time. I got some great everyday pieces and maybe even something a little bit fancier. This is the first piece I got. It is a plated gold pendant with a cute little clear stone in the middle. This will be really nice for like fancier things like if I want to wear something like for a date night or something I think this would be really cute it's very dainty I could also just wear it like on an everyday basis so that's really fun too and then I got this green pendant necklace I love this one because the chain style is so unique. I've actually never had a chain like that before, so I'm really excited about that. And then I got the matching earrings, which are these ones. I've been really into getting like matching jewelry sets lately. I think that it makes you look very put together and they can also be worn separately. So Ana Luisa is such a special company to me because they make all of their pieces from recycled metals, like I said. They're completely carbon neutral and they come out with new designs all the time that are made in small batches to reduce waste. And something that I learned from them, which is so wild to me, is that every 42 seconds, gold mining produces the weight of the Eiffel Tower in waste. So in less than five days, you could cover the city of Paris in waste towers. I mean, a couple weeks ago, I visited a landfill and it was just really harrowing to see the realities of waste. And it was really sad. So that's why I'm really glad to work with companies like Ana Luisa who are making steps to not add to that waste and to create beautiful timeless pieces such as these. So if you'd like to learn more about Ana Luisa and grab some pieces for yourself or for a friend, you can head down to the link in the description box below and use the code BeccaCalhoun10 for 10% off your order. I love Ana Luisa. All my pieces from them are still in such great condition. I'm actually wearing a ring from them. Now I want to show you the holiday decor stuff that I got. A lot of this I got keeping in mind those lanterns because I wanted to do more with my like front step area and then I also wanted to just like continue to add on to the things that I already have around the house. So I saw these acorns which are so cute. I love acorns. I think they're the cutest thing of living in this area. We have a big oak tree right outside of our house and we had literally so many um what are these called acorns that drop on the ground and it was so cute to see them like the little hats and i think okay these are technically candles but i won't be lighting them but they're just really cute a lot of this stuff i was like oh it's cute but i don't know if i'd spend that much money on it and then i saw that they had 40 percent off everything and then i was much more inclined <laughs> to buy some of this stuff but i got two little bundles of fake pumpkins and gourds because I'm going to put these in the lanterns with a hay bale, like a miniature hay bale. I got two of those and then I got two of these fake candles because I don't want to put real candles in them because you just never know, you know? I also got a new hot glue gun because I lost mine. I have no idea where it is. I reorganized my craft closet and now I can't find anything. And my uh, my um, 
my hot glue guns were really old anyway, so I figured um, I could have another one that worked a little bit better. But anyway, so I got the two colors of paint, which I was telling you guys about, this old lens, cannot find anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the two cans of paint, I got like a brown and a black so that I can, you know, darken the color if I need it for certain like places to shade it more. And then I got candlesticks, which I'm wanting to do a DIY on some of these to make them like curly and curvy. Um, and then I got candlestick holders. I like antique ones, but they're so hard to find for me. I know that some people find them thrifting like all the time, but I honestly have only found them at the thrift store like once before and they're being used in a different part of my decor. So anyway, that's all I got. Oh, I also got an outdoor rug. Let me take you over there to show you the rug. And then I'm gonna start putting together these little lanterns because I'm really excited about that and I think that they're so cute. Here's the new rug. You can see the old rug left a nasty imprint. Hopefully that just like goes away. I think it was just because there's moisture under the rug. But yeah, there it is. This is my outside so far. I have a scarecrow and my like mums. I put the broom right there. That's not gonna be there, but I just put it there for now. And then the other side has the same setup with a girly scarecrow. So there's a girl and a boy. And then my wreath is this. It looks like, like these are not really staying up very well, but I don't know what to do about that. I don't know, but this side looks really good. Maybe I'll just flip it <laughs> and gravity will do some stuff for me, but the lanterns were out here. Ah, yes, here's one of them. They still have the original decor that we had in it for the wedding, but this is what they look like. Just black lanterns. Um, Nothing special about them, they're from Ikea. And we love them, we got like a bunch of them for the wedding, like I said, and we just still have them. So I'm gonna bring this one inside and clean it out and I'll show you what it looks like as I'm doing it. I just finished the first one. It's very cute. I realized that I did not get the, the lights that turn off automatically, like on a timer. So that kind of stinks, but here's what we're working with. It looks very cute in there. I love it. Just simple, little hay, candle, very fall. Maybe I need to put more pumpkins in it. I don't know, what would you do? Would you put more pumpkins? I feel like I don't wanna like overload make it look too full but i definitely want it to be known that i i have the intention of it looking like a fall wonderland <laughs> okay i'm gonna do the second one now so now it's time to do this i just took the lanterns outside to spray them off with the hose because the first one I just cleaned in here and I made a big mess and I don't know why I didn't just use the hose outside. Like that would have been so much easier. So those are all, um, there's three more of them. They're out in the sun just drying off. I'm going to put two of them inside next to the fireplace and then the other one outside. Anyway, the other one will go outside on the porch. The first one looks so cute out there and I'm really excited about it. But now I'm going to paint this. So I already took the um, cleaner to it. I cleaned it with like a rubbing alcohol and dish soap mixture. I'm kind of trying to get the uh, price tag mark off of it because the sticker was kind of old and melted into the fabric a little bit here. Like this is like a faux leather plasticky fabric. But anyway, the price tags on thrifted stuff have almost ruined a few things that I've thrifted because like they'll either use a price tag and it sits on it for a long time and it's really hard to get off or 
they'll just write on the object the, the price and it doesn't come off, which is really annoying. But um, that's probably the only con of thrifting. If I'm honest, there's lots of pros, so it's okay. But anyway, I'm watching Drew's video. Oh, here it is. Um, this has all the instructions for doing this. I'm basically just looking at the mixture that he used. Um, it's basically fabric softener and the paint, and then you just like mix it together. I don't know how the fabric softener does anything, but I'm down. Everybody. It is the next day. I have had a nice day today. Basically just ran some errands this morning, you know, went to the post office, did a return at the farm store, you know, just basic things. <laughs> and now I'm sort of sitting in my sunroom looking around because this is the room that gets the brunt of stuff that like as we walk in the door, we'll just set stuff down in here. So I'm kind of just looking around, like getting ready to organize and clean things up. And I remembered that I have this massive box of fabric and I was like, hey, why don't I show them what this is and we can, you know, go through it together and enjoy. Basically, my grandma was given a ton, ton, ton of fabric from someone who was a quilter and are just now too old to do so. So now they're, um, you know, moving on from that. And now she has all this fabric and I looked through it and picked out some stuff. And I thought that I wouldn't bring home that much, but I ended up bringing home quite a bit. But the good news is I have a plan for almost all of it and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. There are a couple of quilts that didn't get finished and I am not a quilter by any means. I have made some things quilted, like I made a stocking and I made an oven mitt, but that's really the extent of my quilting <laughs> experience. But I am interested in doing more, like I wanna make some stuff for family. Um, I'm thinking a lot of this will be used for gifts and I don't know, just fun stuff like that. I've been wanting to do like a quilted jacket. Anyway, this is one of the items. This is a pretty much completed quilt. It's, I think it's almost a king size, um, and it really only needs a border and then the batting and then of course the like actual quilting stitching. But this is basically what it looks like. It has a bunch of blues in it and there's a little bit of leftover fabric with it. There were so many like plaid flannel pieces of fabric. So these are like large cuts of fabric, definitely closer to like one to two yards. So that's really fun. So I'm thinking like pajamas or garlands or something with stockings, but in general, like just like fun Christmassy stuff. This definitely feels like Christmas pajamas to me. Like these two specifically feel very Christmas pajama-esque. So that'll be really fun. And then this was a really big cut of fabric. This is a soft uh, flannel as well. So that's really cute. The print is nice. And this was all free. So it's just insane to me that I'm getting this much fabric for free because this is like, basically you could make like hundreds of quilts with the, all the fabric that I had to choose from. And it was a little bit difficult to narrow it down even to this because I was like, there's so many possibilities, but I also only have so much space to store everything. Okay, the next two pieces of flannel are very like baby flannel-esque. And I'm thinking I'm gonna keep them for someday when I do make baby clothes, which I'm going to do like probably when I'm pregnant, uh, which won't be for a while, but I guess I have it for then. Um, just really cute. I love this one the most, like cute little bears. Those would be cute, like little blankets or something. Or if one of my friends has a baby before me, I would make them stuff using that stuff. But I have a feeling I'm gonna have to be the first one <laughs> to have a baby out of all my friends. Um, anyway, this piece is really cool. This is a pretty intricate quilt. It's incomplete and it's kind of small as it is right now. So I'm thinking that I wanna use it as like a jacket or something. So you can see the print. It's like yellow, white, and green, and it has little gingham flowers there. So yeah, I'm thinking something with like a long coat, like a long winter coat, but there is so much white in it that I'm not sure. I don't know. There's this fabric, which is really fun. This is just like a fun, like 
scrap piece. Um, there's maybe like a yard and a half in here. There's two cuts of it. I just thought it was really pretty. I have been wanting to do like covered books, um, like custom make my own book covers. I think that would be really cute for, I don't know, that kind of thing. And then the craziest thing is there was a ton of pre-cut squares of gingham and like plaid which is honestly like the best score of it all because I've wanted for so long to make a patchwork gingham dress. And it really the problem is, is just finding enough fabric. I didn't want to, I don't know, I wanted to do more like a thrifted type of thing. And like this was perfect because there's so many different kinds of like gingham print. You can see there's just like so many different kinds, so many different colors, uh, different sizes, different I don't know, shapes of plaid. So I have so much of that. And then I also have some like extra larger cuts of the same gingham. So yeah, I'm so excited specifically for this because I love plaid and gingham. And I think these ones just like look aged, but like not in a bad way. <laughs> like I think that brand new gingham is cute and stuff, but I feel like it's just a little bit too farmhouse for me. This feels more like eclectic more my style than like brand new crisp like buffalo check gingham so anyway lots of really cute ones i really like this one right here this is really cool like this inner star thing is so cool i don't think that i really like all the colors on the outside i think that i would maybe like swap things out i don't really know i feel like that'd be pretty like and it's be a pretty intricate job because this looks really intense. But um, my grandma said that this was made from scraps. So that's a really cool way to use your scraps if you are into quilting. I had no idea about this type of thing. That's really cool. There's this really cute green, almost calico floral. That one is super fun. I really like that. And then there's this cute little blue daisies, more blue. This has sunflowers on it, which I think is so fun. This one is definitely a bigger cut of fabric. This could probably easily be a dress, so that's really cute. We've got this fabric, which I really, really like this, and then some pink stripes. I picked up some of this like white fabric that has little details on it. If you can see, where's the third one? Oh, there we go. If you can see the details, it's hardly, um, you can't really see it unless you look super closely, but this stuff is used as like filler on quilts. So I feel like I figured that that would be a good thing to hold on to. And then, oh, look how cute this is. This is a uh, flannel. It's like a patchwork flannel. This would be so cute for like a baby, a baby thing, but it's flannel. So it'd have to be like wintry. And then this is really cute for fall. I love that. Ooh, another cute like fall harvesty fabric is this one. It has cute trees and baskets of fruit. It's like summery. And then this stripey floral is really cute. And then last but not least, we have a basically finished quilt. Again, it's been pieced together, but it hasn't been batted and like quilt quilted. You know what I mean? How when they put the stitches like all over the quilt. <laughs> all the quilters are like, please learn the lingo before you talk about this. Um, anyway. <laughs> it's just a bunch of pieces of flannel, of like earthy color flannel, which I really love. I think that this is so cute and it feels like it would be really, really warm when completed. So that is basically the biggest fabric haul of my life. And all of this was free and like I have so many ideas. I'm really excited to use some of these bigger fabric cuts on like testing out patterns and stuff because lately when I've been testing out patterns, I don't botch it and it like it turns out to be really good and then I you know make it and I really like it but it's made out of a sheet or it's made out of a fabric that I don't really like or isn't really like suitable for the garment so it doesn't get worn that often and it was a tester but I still spent time making it and it's like a garment so I figured I could use more of this stuff for that kind of thing so that the fabric is also cute um, and also free. If I mess up, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But yeah, that is the little fabric haul. I don't have much else going on today, so I think that I'm going to check in with you tomorrow. 
But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm probably gonna pop a lot of this in the wash because I don't know how long it's been sitting wherever it was. And also I just like to pre-wash my fabric. It's something new for me. I, I'm now a pre-washer. <laughs> I never was before, but now I am. So uh, take that as you will. Definitely pre-wash your fabric, especially because fabric can still shrink. Um, yeah, okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everybody, good morning. It is the next day, I believe. I don't even, I, yeah, I think it's the next day from the last time I filmed. Anyway, I wanted to show you an update on this. So yeah, it smells really nice <laughs> because the paint was mixed with the fabric softener. So you can see there's a little bit of texture in here. I don't know what this is. I think that's just like a chunk of paint that I didn't notice and it's now dried in there. And then this is what the front looks like, the sides. It doesn't look amazing, but in my mind, at least it's not that like black faux leather. And also it was really hard to paint around the like silver hardware. So as I'm putting this thing in the hoop, it's sort of starting to like flake off and like if I scratch it, it'll come off. So I think eventually I'm probably just gonna go in and like scratch it off the metal part right there. But honestly, I would consider this a successful transformation. I don't know if it would be a success in other people's eyes because like it doesn't look super perfect, but honestly, I'm not going for perfect, but it does look a lot better. I'll, I'll put in like a before and after thing so that you can see. Um, in my mind, this is a lot better. And the inside still has the like black details. I'm not gonna change that because it honestly doesn't matter to me like on the inside. I just wanted the outside to look nice so that I could have this like on my table or whatever in my room. So anyway, it has been a proper work from home day. As you can see, I'm in a robe and I'm filming on my new lens. So this is my new lens. It has a very wide angle. Let me see if I can take it all the way out. Oh, I think it basically was all the way out. So like you can see a very large portion of the room, whereas my old one, sorry about the sounds of my chair, would probably keep it about right here. So it just allows a lot more to be in the frame, which is good for vlogging because, you know, I think it just looks nice. And if I wanted to pull it in tight like this, I have the option to do that. So yeah, I'm really excited about this lens. It is the EF 11 to 22 lens. And it's the one that I was looking at getting for a long time. And I actually thought that I was purchasing this lens, but I was I ended up purchasing the 11 millimeter, not the 11 to 22 millimeter, which if you're not into cameras and stuff, this probably sounds like gibberish because honestly to me it does too. I wanna put some of my Ana Luisa jewelry in here so that I can show you because I wanna put my like everyday pieces in here so that I can access them um, really easily. <laughs> so let's go do that really quick and then I think that I'll end the video there. Wait, should I show you guys what I've been doing on my Animal Crossing Island before we go? because I've been working on my computer for like four hours and I need to not look at my computer. So let's instead look at my, um, what's it called? Nintendo Switch screen. <laughs> Hold on, first let's do the jewelry. Let's not get sidetracked here. Okay, so my jewelry and earrings were previously just held in this Warby Parker glasses case. <laughs> like if I would travel, that's where I would put them all which actually does work out pretty nicely, but there's no like organization system. If I'm honest, I really just wanna wear this one right now. It's so cute. I know that I'm literally wearing pajamas right now, but I just love it. I was honestly a little bit skeptical if I would like this chain style, but I do a lot. Ooh, cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Daniel and I need to go on a date so that I can wear these. Like immediately I feel so much prettier. <laughs> You know how people say jewelry will make you like, I don't know, make you feel dressed up. Like you could wear sweatpants and a t-shirt, but as long as you pair it with gold jewelry, you'll look like really put together. Like I feel like I instantly look way fancier right now. <laughs> I think maybe this is like the necklace section. 
Honestly, not a great necklace section. I don't know. Maybe I need to like make something like a pouch or something so that necklaces can go in here. I think I'm gonna hold off on putting necklaces in until I figure that out because necklaces always get tangled up and like that's why they're annoying to travel with. So I have other things from them and various other places. This is my Casio watch. It's also gold. Like it's not like actually gold. I think it's probably just like bronze or something, but I have other things from them that I'm just gonna pop in here. Okay, can you see that? We're on item number one and I already love it. Okay, so I have earrings in there right here, but I feel like, yeah, the rest of the stuff that I wanna put in it is like necklaces. I have three necklaces that I wanna put in here, but I don't feel like this is a good place for them. I feel like I need a better solution for that. If anybody knows like what the heck this stuff is used for, let me know. I think maybe watches. I'm not exactly sure. What you doing? Are you watching? Just waiting? Do you want to see what's going on on my island? Koopy, that was rude. Cooper always does that. He just bulldozes Leo. I feel bad for Leo, honestly. All right, Isabel's giving the news. No breaking news. Also, one of my villagers left, the one that I didn't like, it was Al. I found him very scary looking and he finally moved, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> when he asked me if he could move, I was like, yes, no hesitation, please get out. Okay, I'm going to, oops, there's the bottle. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the spot that I wanna show you and then I'm gonna put the switch on the ground so that I can put the camera on it and then you can see. Okay, well, first of all, this is my pumpkin patch, which I am literally obsessed with. This is my favorite part of the whole island. Just my whole like Halloween setup. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Leo. That's my Nintendo Switch. Okay. I'm kind of trying to do something. <laughs> Okay, so after the pumpkin patch, right behind it is this maze. It's supposed to be like a corn maze type of thing. Like, uh-oh, wrong way. Oh, okay, you gotta go this way. Oh, there we go. And it's really simple. It's not really a crazy difficult one. Daniel told me I should make it more difficult, but honestly, I don't really know how I could make it more intricate with that amount of space, because I don't have a ton of space. And then from there, I'm working on this little carving station. It's like a pumpkin carving station. So it's not complete yet, obviously, but this is like the vision. Um, and then I have this little sign and then I just put in this little path area to get to this, which is a fortune teller station, which obviously I'm still working on. So anyway, that's pretty much like what I've done for the holiday so far. I had a bunch of like, I had the idea to do a costume station, but then I sold all of the random costumes that I had in my closet because it was taking up room in my storage. And I really regret doing that because I could have made a really cute little costume station. So I might still try to do that because my villagers are always giving me like random stuff. So I might still try to do that. But anyway, that is what I have done for the holidays so far. If you play Animal Crossing, let me know down below. Let me know what you're doing this uh, fall season on your island. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you very much for joining me on this video, this vlog, hanging out with me and everything else. I really enjoyed hanging out with you, doing some fall stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> doing some fall stuff, doing some DIY you know everything and then also getting loved on by my dogs um again if you want to check out anna luisa you can head to the link down in the description box below and use my discount code for some money off if you're looking to do some gifts if you're wanting to treat yourself i love anna luisa and like all my everyday jewelry things that i wear every single day are from them and i love them so please go check them out and i will see you guys in the next video bye say bye Bye, 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 bye. We'll see you later. Oh, you licked my glasses. <laughs>